Hello, welcome to Love Notes from Elaine. It's a great day. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Galatians chapter 5, verse 13 says, For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. You know, I find it very, very wonderful that everything in the Bible, every word, every teaching, every doctrine, always goes back to love. Because if God loved us so much to send Jesus to liberate us, then it is a wonderful thing for us to stay liberated and not go back into bondage. I'd like to read something, two clauses of today on what I've been talking about this week being liberated. This is Reverend Joe Wright at the Kansas Senate opening prayer. He says, we have worshipped other gods and, and called it multiculturalism. We have endorsed perversion and called it an alternative lifestyle. We have exploded the poor and called it the lottery. We have rewarded laziness and called it welfare. My friend, we have taken the liberty that Americans have and we have perversed it all around, everything around us. We're even hearing people declare now, well, yeah, I know the word says that, but that's really not what the word means. Or yes, I know the word says that, but my preacher said it don't mean that. It means this. And we have gone back into bondage. Let's take the word of God and be liberated by the word of God and not go into bondage. He said that you have been called to liberty in verse 13. Now, anything that takes you into bondage is not liberty. Jesus is liberty. Someone said to me one time, well, Elaine, if I have to quit doing all the sins I'm doing, I'm not going to have a good time. I'm just going to be miserable and bored. Oh, really? So you think sin is liberating? No, sin is what's boring. Because sin always goes into death. Once sin goes through your mind and you don't stop it, it turns into a temptation. A temptation will turn into a seed being sown. When you sow seeds of sin, be not deceived. They will germinate and come forth. And the produce and the production of sin is always death. I know the word says that sin is pleasure for a season. But honey, sin will take you farther than you want to go. Keep you longer than you want to stay cost you more than you're willing to pay. Think about David. David was liberated. He was an armored soldier. He was a fighter. He was the one that beat Goliath, killed him. He killed the lion with his bare hands. He killed the bear with his bare hands. The people would stand by the side of the road and declare, David, David, you have killed thousands he was celebrated. He was liberated. But one day, sin took him further than he wanted to go. And he was bound in such bondage that his skin was rotting off of his bones. When he cried out to God and said, Oh God, I'm in misery night and day. My skin and my bones are being tormented. He wanted liberty again. Sin put you in bondage Turn from it today. Repent and ask Jesus Christ into your heart and be made free. Oh, freedom to lay your head down on your pillow tonight and know you're not in adultery. You're not in fornication. You're not in drunkenness. You're not in abusive affairs. You're not in hatred. You're, you're walking in love. You love everybody. That's the greatest feeling of liber liberality there is. But the greatest thing of bondage is to lay your head on your pillow and have the Holy Spirit, oh, just mourn over you. 
and try to get you back to your liberty. My friend, I love you today, and that's the reason I talk to you the way I do. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, it's Christ in you, the hope of glory.